let's jump into the first topic of the day. Reggie Bush. The disassociation from USC is over. Uh, it was a 10-year disassociation, and that is the limit that the NCAA has set. Uh, the Committee on Infractions told them, you have to disassociate yourself from this uh, from this football player for at least 10 years, and immediately upon the 10-year anniversary, they said, all right, cool, welcome back, Reggie. Like, it, if, if you're Reggie Bush, one, are you super happy about this, or... Or are you not? I mean, how, how would you feel if you're Reggie? How would you how would you go about this if you're USC? I mean, did they did they nail it? No, I mean, I think it's fine. I think USC USC is fine to acknowledge the fact that this is over and and welcome him back or try to welcome him back. If I'm Reggie, if that was a school I went to, yeah, I'd, I'd be excited about being able to be associated with them again. Um, it's not the school that imposed this; it's the NCAA. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it'd be the, different the if the school, made the school threw him under yeah. the bus. Okay, it then we'd have different feelings about things, but the school didn't do that. Uh, Michael jumped in. He said, "So glad to see Reggie's back." Was wrong to even be suspended? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, especially with all the stuff that we know about college athletics now, uh, for this to have gone down, you know, what twenty or two thousand six, two thousand five, whatever it was. I mean, it's a, over a decade ago. Uh, I mean, give the man his Heisman back. Like yeah, he. He didn't nah, do anything. I don't, to the NCAA is not doing that. How's no, the committee's no. not doing that? I don't. I don't think they will. But I think they should. Like I, just, I agree. I completely agree. I think the whole thing's just ludicrous. So, you know, it sucks. Uh, but I'm glad that we've at least got this. Uh, Reggie Bush said, "I've dreamed of this day for ten plus years, and I'm excited to come home." Um, there you go. The uh, director of athletics, Mike Bond, said, "When I was hired to represent the Trojan family as the director of athletics, I committed to listening and learning before leading." Throughout this process, one of the by the way, a lot more people should do that. A lot more people should listen before they uh, before they lead. Just saying. Um, throughout this process, one of the consistent themes that emerged from my discussions was how much Reggie Bush means to our former players, USC alumni, and fans everywhere. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know Reggie and so many of his teammates, and I'm pleased his disassociation has ended so that we can welcome him back to our family. I'm confident that Reggie will use his incredible platform and influential voice to support and empower all of our student athletes. And yeah, I'm with well you. Well said. Good question. Athletic director and director of athletics, it's the same thing, right? Yes, same thing. Okay. Director of athletics, athletic director, we, same, we have same a, we have a We have an assistant to the regional manager situation here in USC. Come on. It's something along those lines. Well, I think he just he called it something different. When I was hired as the director of athletics, it, come on. Like, yeah. it's a, you're an athletic director. Just say it. Yeah. Just say it. Okay. Uh, trying to make your trying to make your job seem swanker than it is, so you can get a little bit bigger check. I pretty got much, you. pretty much. Um, so basically, what happened once the ten year period is over, according to CIO procedures, the NCAA will no longer quote monitor or enforce this, uh, the disassociation, and will give schools the freedom to decide how to proceed, whether that is to the uh, to extend the disassociation or to end it. So USC, once that ten year mark hit, they said, "All right, cool." Welcome back. Like, it's been 10 long years. Uh, I like seeing this. I thought it was a good decision. Um, I mean, I th frankly, it's a pretty easy decision because it, the man didn't really do anything wrong. He got paid by an agent. And how many college players are out there that are high-level players that aren't getting paid under yeah. the table by you, somebody? You, yeah, you, you, you and I see the world for what it is, most of these other people. And here's the thing. How did you not see it when it was happening? Like... His family, and I think Matt Leonard's family, maybe I'm wrong on this, like had houses in Cal in, in, in LA. Yeah. Like, come on, dude. Oh, it's just come ludicrous. Uh, like, like, how did, yeah. how, do you think they just bought that? Just, <laughs> like, properties, like, I can get you a house in Oxford pretty easily. Okay. Yeah. That, that is not very expensive. A house is, is, is what some super luxury cars cost here in Mississippi. All right. In LA, if you buy somebody's family a home, uh, we're 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 getting them something yeah, now. We're we gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Uh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I think it's a, a fantastic idea, a fantastic decision. I think. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously this stuff is kind of antiquated, so I'm uh, I'm glad that they you know fixed it. They decided okay, we're not gonna do that anymore. We're we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. So. Okay.